like a river. A railroad flows through the lives of many, touching communities, linking towns with farms, factories with markets, people with people, until a destination is reached. For more than a century, St. Johnsbury enjoyed rail connections from four directions. It was a very busy place. Four railroads came into the yard at uh, St. J. It was a busy yard, 24 hours a day. And there was a lot of activity, a lot of trains coming and going. My heaven, St. J was New York City. I am not kidding. When I moved here uh, over this depot, there was this big sign saying Canadian Pacific. And I thought, well, that's great. I know that with a Canadian Pacific, boy, rail has a certain future in this town. That was the first major piece of trackage that the Canadian Pacific dieselized. I can remember seeing the steam locomotives put together on a little used siding in Newport Yard. And uh, in due time, they were hauled away to Montreal and they were cut up there. So in 1949, very quickly, the uh, Newport and Lindenville subdivisions of the Canadian Pacific Railway were completely dieselized. <laughs> 